Hi, good morning. Um, I'm going to show you something that I've been doing and that some people have asked me to please show a video of and fortunately I had already done this because I made my new planner slash bullet journal and um, it's not for 2018 um, because I'm simply starting right now. The noise you hear are my new budgies. Um, I might show you at the end of the video, but every time I talk or there's music on, they will join the conversation and sit like this in the cage. <laughs> anyway, um, right, so and my husband asked me, what is all the planner fuss about? I mean, everybody is doing bullet journaling and, and making planners, ordering planners, printing planners, um, adorning planners like crazy. And... Um, I do get that. I mean, um, I think it's mostly girls and women who do this, but I've also noticed a couple of guys online who do this, so it's not strictly a female affair. Um, and some people ask me, why do you invest so much time in making, a per in making a planner? Because you can simply go out to the shop, buy one, and there you have it. But the thing is that for some people it works to work in a structure that somebody else has made up. But some people, many people, I believe, just ha are, um, have a different kind of brain, are wired differently. And um, in my case, I could say I sort of have an ADD-like brain. I'm not saying I have flat out ADD, but I do find it rather hard to structure my days because, you know, I am my own boss. Um, the sun shining outside. Um, if I want to go out for a walk right now, I, I could. Uh, because, you know, nobody's here expecting me to deliver anything at the end of the day. Oh yeah, well, I promised Effie Wild online to do this video. So Effie is waiting for my video, so I have to do this. But, no, you know what I mean? There's nobody here who's going to offer me a structure of any kind. And um, I find it really hard. I mean, I do have an artistic brain. So, you know, I wake up in the morning and I think, oh God, I'm going to do this. I'm really enthusiastic. And then throughout the day something might come up it could be an instagram photo it could be something somebody tells me or a conversation over here or or i can cat i can catch a certain light or a bird or whatever happens and my mind can go oh i'm like a butterfly it just simply drifts off and the reality of the matter is that you're just not that productive when you are wired with a brain like this if you do not um, give yourself a certain structure. Also, for minds like mine and many other people, you know, a standard structure like doing the everyday nine to five thing doesn't work either because the mind can be incredibly creative at 11 in the evening and then at normal work hours, you know, I might surprise myself with how sleepy my head is, for instance, because I can't really control you know, I can, I can only look <laughs> forward to a small period of time. Um, right now, it's absolutely imperative that we have goals. We should set, we should set high goals. We have to have bucket lists. I don't do bucket lists because you know what? In the first place, there are too many things I want and there are too few things that I can realize within a reasonable amount of time, which makes me feel if I read through my bucket list, it makes me feel inadequate. And I don't like feeling inadequate because there is a bunch of really great stuff that I can do. So I need a system that on the one hand does give me a little bit of guidance with goal setting, but it has to be short term. Um, for instance, I'm completely captured by writing tanka at the moment, which is a variety on the haiku, a Japanese short poetry version, uh, poetry variety. Um, and I had planned for this fall to do something completely different. And then I had to sit down and do some work and I was like, Ugh, I don't feel like it. I'm not inspired. It just, it just wouldn't start cooking and boiling in my head. And then one day a friend said to me, then why don't you just do a tanker course? And I was like, yeah, of course, Eureka, that's it. And the thing is that if I plan ahead, like I had done last year, I had planned that this fall, I would be doing a different course. It doesn't work for me. 
there are some people who like having a structure who like to know you have to do this then and who like to know well in advance i'm not like that my own my own being is just simply wired for immediate action inspiration i work like 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 you know a racing car i'm a formula one car once i once i go about it so um it's just very hard for a formula one car to stop and look at the goals all the time and get refueled um so if I want to keep going in my own velocity, in my own energy, I needed to find a way to plan. And I was distracted by this entire goal setting business. I took quite a few online business courses and they're all about goal setting and doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. And the thing is, it's all nice and well for some minds, but it doesn't work like that for me. So. What I found that does work for me is a bullet journal. And you know, it. I know it's, it's a hype, but the thing is I used to do this in a different form already. I used to have piles of little to-do lists everywhere because I would write down certain goals and I would just, you know, subdivide them into different tasks. And um, I would just, everywhere where you would be in my studio, you would find little to-do lists. I would even do it for the household and everything. And then one day I saw a video on YouTube um, that suggested what if you just put it all into one book and I was like yeah why not <laughs> oh, Eureka why didn't I think of that I think the guy who made this up has become really really rich <laughs> sometimes it's just so simple but anyway um, then it's just you know I, I, I toyed a bit with the bullet journal thing and I set out to do things that other people do and I noticed there was a lot about decorating a bullet journal and it's like I said it's not for me it's strictly a way of structuring my mind and my days and for me it is a way of trying to guide my own butterfly mind you know into this area where I can be productive and um, where I also get a very good perspective on the things that I have done and on processes that work for me and processes that don't work for me um, and for me the bullet journal is just great because it, it just it just entails everything um, I tried many systems the hardbound book was absolutely fantastic I used a Kangini Filippi um, line journal for that and seriously guys if you love um, a bound book and uh, Leuchtturm is fantastic uh, don't get me wrong here but the Kangini Filippi book is just a little bit a little bit bigger and for me that um, mattered because um, it, it it would hold everything I needed to have on the spread um, but it also has its limitations because once you're through you have to migrate everything and I was sort of uh, feeling a little bit uneasy about um, how to migrate things without data getting lost and also um, I'm quite an if I like efficiency despite my butterfly mind or maybe because my butterfly mind I know I have to be efficient or else I'll just you know flutter away um, so I don't like having to migrate you know a ton of information every time I finish a book because I do write kind of I do write rather a lot so if I have to migrate a couple of times a year it's gonna take me one two days per time to migrate so I figured um, there should be an easy way so my first other option was my file of facts and I actually um, hold on I'll grab it for you <clears throat> there's a ton of notebooks oh. by the way this is my Kinjini Filippi book and um, it's incredibly full um, because I also stuck all kinds of things in there um, but I bought this one, the Philo Fax with uh, a ring binder and this is the thick ring binder so it will hold quite a bit of uh, paper which I wanted because I um, insert quite a lot in there. You know this this book has got my life and um, a great part of my business in it. Um, but then I found a second hand leather um, Philo Fax and I decided to paint it my own style and this is also ring bound with a thick ring um, and I thought that was it I thought now I have the perfect journal because look we make a great couple now don't we but alas you know what the problem is with 
the Philo facts for me and Philo facts should listen now because they might do themselves a favor if they haven't already done so and just jump on the trendy boat because the trend is not a trend for no reason because what I preferred was elastic bands in it so in my Philo facts enthusiasm last year I actually bought three second-hand Philo faxes and why did I buy them second-hand because I'm thrifty maybe a little bit because I don't like to spend too much on a system I'm not really sure I will how I will like it but moreover I wanted to personalize them all so this one got painted this one has not been personalized yet because I started using this in the time when I used this I realized I don't like the ring binder because when you want to write on the left page then the ring binder is always in the way and I want to use my pages double-sided or else I would be needing an even bigger ring binder um, so then you know the final effects ended up in my uh, on my bookshelf unused and I st I went back to a hardbound book so I even I <laughs> that also got stuck <clears throat> pardon me that also got stuck i got stuck in that process as well because i didn't like the migrating so eventually i ran into this boho berry video where she actually bought um a journal a leather journal that has elastic bands in the back and then she showed me how she puts all kinds of inserts into that and there I realized BAM that's the idea because you know I bind these little notebooks myself with a pamphlet stitch and um, I will in my blog post I will include links to good online tutorials um, for the pamphlet stitch and I even found some um, dotted um, it's, it's what is it called I found some dotted paper online to download and to print myself um, but anyway I realized that with these little books I could I would never have to migrate anything any information again because I could make a themed little um, chapter a little notebook and insert it in here and it could forever be in this um, binder in this it's a, a Midori, a faux Midori, or a faux traveler's journal or something. And um, I could make, this is my, was my first idea. Oh, hold on. I actually made one of these notebooks per month. So I started doing that and I really, really liked it because I've already done part of September and the entire month of October in a little book like this. So what I can do is I can take one of these books out all the time and insert the new one for the new month um, and what I have what I have in here is basically a little monthly overview of you know things that are happening um, and I have a weekly overview with my um, my calendar and also the things I want to do this week and the things that are going to happen or have to be done in the future and then there is I make a page where I keep track of the um, the steps that I walk and the miles that I um, walk because that's what I do I don't I don't like sports so I walk a lot and I keep track of my weight I lost quite a bit of weight a couple of years ago and then life happened and um, unfortunately I didn't gain any weight back but um, I want to get back into the swing of things and you know start um, you know going down in that area a bit um, I don't lose sense in diet I had um, two mottos two golden rules that really helped me a lot one was if I can do it today I can do it tomorrow because tomorrow is just another today that was one and the second one was my guideline for the scales the only rule I had is that they never went up so they would always have to be spot on the same or down and that really helped because again I'm not a big goal setter because it demotivates me um, so if it helps for you to set goals go your um, just do your thing but it doesn't help for me um, 
I keep track of my meditation if I meditate. I didn't meditate last week. I've been I've been uh, down with the flu for a couple of weeks. So um, um, because I'm curious, I have this smart band around my. It's a me band that I have around my wrist to keep track of my uh, steps. Um, so I note them, but um, it also keeps track of my sleep pattern. And you know, it's it's. I don't attach any kind of faith to it, but I was a bit curious about um, how well it would registrate. So for now, it's on my spread. And here is actually a meal plan for the week. Um, I like to plan ahead um, because it just helps me organize a little bit. That's about the only thing I do plan ahead for an entire week. Um, right, so anyway, that's a little now I've already showed you my insides gosh the only thing I wanted to emphasize especially for Filofax is that with this system you can open your book and you can write in it on both sides on both sides of the pages because there is no ring binder in the middle so what I basically did and I have a video I have another video in which I show you how I did it um, I basically um, got out the ring binder and um, I finished the holes of the ring binder. I got, I punched a few new holes and um, I strung some elastic band through it for my, um, for my notebooks. And what you see here in the middle is actually <clears throat> an original Leuchtturm um, notebook because I have decided that instead of doing the monthly, um, bullet journal thing in um, a little pamphlet book like this I'm gonna do that in the Leuchtturm because um, it doesn't matter uh, I don't need to take it out all the time I'm going to reserve all my spots for these notebooks for um, all kinds of information that I do want to keep in there like I'm working on a big project right now and I know it's gonna be with me for a long time so I'm gonna do that in one of these notebooks um, I'm writing poetry on a daily basis now I'm doing that here in my um, I have a notebook for that I have a little book about my blog and um, about social media and about my my own plans in that area um, I have a brain dump book in it you know things to write and make art about um, so it's those kinds of things that you will want to keep with you that you want to be with you even next year maybe um, that that's what I keep in here so right I've been blabbing <laughs> Well, long enough surely um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to uh, show you in the next video how i um how i changed my you know my normal file of facts into a fomidori for travelers and i just really hope that file of facts um i i have not really i haven't found if if they already have it but they really should start with a system like this because um this is so much more versatile than any other um, kind of planner or book that I've had because you can really personalize it and from the attention that bullet journaling and planners are getting and the questions I'm getting from people to please share my way of planning um, it just really it makes it clear for me that people want personal planners because there is no one kind of mind and you know traditional journals and planners and diaries have all been written on a kind of you know a, a mind but times change we are all so multifunctional at this period at this in this age so we need planners and notebooks to help us deal with all the different things that we have to do now we are no longer in a nine to five job with you know and traditional uh, roles for, for, for men and women and structured lives. I know very few people who actually have a very structured life anymore and those often no longer need a diary um, to, to keep up their lives. So in other words, you know, it just, the, that is why planners are so, why it's just such a, a hype at the moment because everybody is looking for ways to deal with all the things they want to and with all the goals they are setting themselves. Although I really wonder um, if perhaps it wouldn't be a good idea to um, sit down and have a little thought about whether or not setting goals actually is something that makes you happier and more productive or not. 
like uh, in my case I realized after a couple of years it does not make me that much happier so I no longer have a goals list I have a wish list um, there are of course always a couple of things you have to do there are deadlines you have to show up to and I will be there always but um, at the same time you know we make life more stressful i think by goal setting and by making such great demands on ourselves and for me that kind of stress sort of wears me out even before i start and when i sit down with my bullet journal and i simply write down goals for the very near future so the next coming day the next coming week sometimes i get so productive and i get so much energy from it so that's why I am doing it this way, that is why I'm spending quite a bit of time looking for my ideal planner, that's why I spend every week about an hour drawing in my next bullet journal for next week because I always do that a week ahead and it's why every morning I sit down with my bullet journal to review yesterday's tasks and my to-do list and to see what I'm going to do today and how I'm going to plan and replan the things I didn't do and it just gives me structure and also these little booklets I have um, little booklets where I keep track of my statistics online and everything it just helps me look back on my own process and I think that's worth a lot so I hope you haven't fallen asleep yet and um, Thank you for watching and if you like there is a little video about how i uh, changed my file of facts into a fomidori or for a traveler's journal so well i hope you enjoy it and if you are going to do the same then please show me because i'm really really curious so just um give your uh, a link to the photos or a little video of yours right below this video because um or on my on, on my blog if you're visiting my blog and watching this video there um or on facebook or wherever just let me know um what you do with it because i'm really really curious how you go about it and you know if you're inspired by this video then i would really like to know basically so <laughs> thank you for watching bye